So today I'm with Felon. Felon, how long have you been out here in Phoenix? Yes, man, I, I'm just uh, speaking to the youth out there that uh, I've been out here in Phoenix for about 18 years, going on 19. Yeah, you said you Um, Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm talking about, about education, but it's so important uh, that, that, that youth, that youth is very important. Um, school and education is the only way to give it nowadays. Um, because of, of, of you, I live for tomorrow. Uh, the streets out here is not for any kind of children. I apologize for any anybody seeing stuff that that are not supposed to be seen. And uh, you know, people want to label us as this and this and that. I just want to let you know that it's all about the Lord Jesus Christ, and we got to get right before we get left. I just want you to know that um, hey, just always study, keep stay focused on what you know best and do what you gotta do for tomorrow because you are our tomorrow. And I just wanna thank you and I just have a blessed one. Once again, this is Mateo. Let me know that stay out the street, stay no drugs. And always in Jesus' name, amen? Hallelujah, yeah? Cool? That's a really good advice, Pelon. And do you use blues yourself? Uh, no, sir, I smoke marijuana, but it's just for my anxiety, for my medical use only. Uh, that's about it. Uh, my job out here is trying to get these little youngsters not to be an influence in that direction where it's going to lead them to destruction in their life later on. Um, I, just, I pray for everybody, for blessings, you know, um, and for uh, <coughs> always for our kids. Like I said, you guys are our future, and I breathe for you guys. Without you guys, you make me live for tomorrow. Pelona, have you been have you been incarcerated? Uh, yes, been incarcerated. Uh, once again, people want to label you. You know, once again, there it's it's all about the youth. You know, uh, it's been my, my job to educate the the, the, the youth and make sure that uh, they uh, stay focused on uh, further education uh, and and let them know that if you think you, you can't, you can. And if you still think you can't, you still can. You know, I just pray that uh, that the Lord works in everybody's life because when it comes down to it, that's the only man we got to answer to. And um, take it one day at a time. And uh, if you feel like going too fast, just slow the roll because we're not promised tomorrow. That's absolutely true. And uh, why do you think there's so many young people out here, uh, Pelon? There's lots of youngsters out here, even around you right now, this very moment, there's lots of young people. Why do you think there are you know, so many young people out here in the streets? Because the lack of misguidance are due to uh, <laughs> uh, 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 death in family, causing to do what they do. But obviously a uh, misguidance of a, a lost uh, a parent, be mother or father. Uh, so I think they just use that and it, to me, it's just an excuse and a sad excuse because I think they all could be the person that they really want to be if they put their mind to wave whatever they want to do and become uh, to be whatever productive member of society or, uh, or you know, because they keep it done. So uh, the blues are all about destruction. Hell, the devil is taken back to prison and, um, and prisons not for any children. And that's an edu education for our children. So uh, once again, I just want to thank you guys for uh, for <coughs> taking your time to listen to what I gotta say, and uh, just know that uh, the Lord is real, and um, He's always with us, and just um, take it one day at a time because we're not promised tomorrow. Is that the mes message that you give to your children and your grandchildren? That's just the message I give to my grandchildren and my children as well. And I thank God that they're smart. They, they're very smart. They learn from me. They're very young. And I'm very, very proud um, for my grandkids and my grandkids. And uh, I just, what it is, just stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. And that's what it is. That's the key. Stay prayed up. Absolutely. Yes, sir. And, uh, what message would you give to anybody related to you if you saw them out here on the street? Like, how would you feel? Uh, I would let them know that, hey, uh, that um, stay positive, never go to the negativity, because once that negativity has you, um, then the devil got control of you, and uh, never give the devil a footstool 
before the soul goes down. You know what I mean? Or never be mad when the sun goes down. Because all it relates to the devil, and it's not cool, but I'm, uh, I want to let them know in relations, um, I relate to them because I was once like that. I was once in the streets with like the problems with like they have now, and um, I said I could only do so much, you know. I could only guide them so much, you know. But um, that's my job for God here, you know. That's what I'm gonna do. But I think that's all of our jobs as as being a protective member of society, as we live sober, as we the ones that we separate the sheep from the goats, you know. And that's what it is. So you know, and we just got to go one day at a time, and and. And since they prayed up because the Lord is for real and he is coming back to take us to a greater place. Absolutely. Yes, sir. And uh, you uh, you mentioned that um, when you were on the streets, so right now you have, uh, are you out here on the streets now or do you have uh, yes, a home? Yes, I'm still on the streets and the reason for being, um, uh, because just any kind of mischief or I know, I gotta be out here just to be a, 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 a protector. But my job is to be a provider. I can't even be a provider for the people that I want to provide to because I always, my problem is I put people first and put myself, but that's just the way God has my heart. And, um, and what it is, it's just, I love everybody. I guess what that's what it is. And, um, you know, and um, my sister right here, uh, she's cool. <laughs> my daughter right here is yeah, I'm. This is BB. <laughs> He's from Assassination Planet. Mm -hmm. And she's very educated too, and uh, really about crazy about the youth too. And she got a good positive uh, story about herself for the youth. And uh, maybe next time, get a chance to holler her. You know? yeah. What um. What are your future plans, Belon? Like, what are you trying to do in your future? What do your next three to six months look like? Well, uh, um, I can't really, I don't plan, I plan that ahead because uh, every time I plan out, you know, they, uh, they never work out. So I just take them one at a time. But um, uh, my plans are to have a nice ranch with animals for my grandbabies, you know, um, let it be uh, uh, a gift from the Lord, you know. Uh, maybe to go back, continue, go back to school. Um, uh, masonry as well, do uh, continue back in construction, and uh, just just uh, be the grandfather that I want to be for my loving grandbabies as well for my children, uh, because they uh, take that they take a lot to heart too. Because um, I was never there uh, physically for my kids, uh, but I just want to be there uh, for my grandbabies now. And, uh, Don't shut that door. But it's all good. Um, like I said, um, uh, the Lord has great plans for you guys. Um, Jeremiah 29. And for he knows the plans that he has for you, and they're all to prosper us and to give us a blessing. And um, when we believe in him, there's so many blessings and so many wills for help that there's no room for us to store them. You're uh, very spiritual and you're you, you're very knowledgeable of the scripture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it says like in uh, Matthew 9 12, brother, it says, it says, for the healthy don't need a physician, but the sick do. He said, I come not to call the righteous unto repentance. I come for the sinners. So what that's saying is we all fall short of the glory of God, bro. And I'm raising my hand first. See, I'm the first sinner that, because ain't nobody perfect, bro, but God. And we just got to just always stay focused on because he is the prize, you know. Uh, and he is our He is our everything uh, to me. Um, all you could ask is just let him be close to you, you know, and um, to let you know with your own eyes to see visually that the blessing that he has for you, to have a chance, give him a chance, and he'll take you all the way. Belona, I really love that you're uh, spiritually grounded. I'm just hoping that your knowledge of scripture uh, will help you, right? Because I know you're trying to help out the youth out here that are surrounding you, but you also need to take care of yourself, right? Yes, yes. Uh, that's what that's what yes, the good that's, Lord that's, will want, right? Yes, sir. That's my problem is, um, uh, and I still have the problem. You know, I always put everybody before I put myself, but, um, you know, in that case, um, it goes without saying, that just shows me that, that God's always with me and it's him that has control of my automobiles, you know what I mean? Because, uh, my automobiles, <laughs> because without him, he's, he, he is our source, to, our source to our strength and let him be the guidance unto your steps and to your path to, to righteousness. Ab you know. Absolutely. Yes, so, uh, what's your uh, final message to uh, people that are going to watch this? Your family, your grandchildren. What, what do you want to tell everybody? I tell my grandkids, kids, yeah, I just tell them to uh, to uh, take the time for God. First of all, always put Him first. Uh, stay drug free. It's all about education because education is really important. Because you can't be the person that you want to become without a little knowledge from the books that's going to show you how to be the person that you want to become in life to have a successful future. 
or whatever it may be that you want to become in life. And I pray that for any boy and girl that they have the blessings of God upon them. You know, I just pray that they stay away from that negativity. And that negativity is this kind of life out here on the streets, you know. But we got to make the best of it, you know, because the system comes in and, you know, we can't just say, hey, we want to check, you know. Uh, I would be really uh, resourceful for the system to start uh, building houses for these people hey, that are doing? yelling hey. and screaming out there, you're homelessness for not having a home out here. What if there need? was more houses being built, brother, we'll if there's more houses being built, brother, for the people that are out here on the streets, there'll be less, uh, less, less friction, less everything, bro. And I mean, I think that, uh, uh, if it lets everything, if everybody had a house, because everybody would be at home and do what they do, but they won't be here, you know, and that's all I have to say. Okay. <laughs> so, Pelon, thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you. Yes, Please stay safe out here. Um, you have my card, so you can call me if you need a ride, mm -hmm. you need a ride to a shelter, you want to talk to somebody, please call me. I'm trying to help you as much as possible, okay? I'm going to go grab you some lunch. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. We'll talk soon, okay? Yes, I just uh, hold on, brother. I just want to just, uh, let me, uh, uh, dear Honey Father, I just come before you tonight. I just pray for every youngster out there, Honey Father, that the Lord may touch and bless me in, by, in, the, in a mighty way, Lord. I just pray, Honey Father, for, you know, the plan of for us, Honey Father, and, and whatever it may be, Honey Father, that there, there is no mafia, there ain't nothing like that. And we just want to let you know that it's all about Jesus Christ. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And, and that's and, and that's what it is. And it's all about him because he's, he's coming back for us. So we got to get right before we get left. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, brother. Thank you. You got it, brother.